Welcome back and today we are going to create the canvas steel frame for this billboard of 10 by 12. 10 by 12 means uh, 10 will be this way and 12 will be straight up. Now we, we want to define the points that will, will help us in creating the canvas steel frame for this billboard here. Now let me press Alt D on my keyboard. Alt D on my keyboard here so that I'll be able to snap on this point here. This point is, is, is absolute at the center of this particular column. Now I want to offset it to, to this side by 5 meters and the other side by 5 meters. Then I offset it up uh, to provide a ground clearance of 6 meter at the bottom of the steel frame or the steel canvas frame. Now I'll, I'll select that point. So the moment I select on that point, I right click and come to special copy here, then pick on linear. So once I've done so, I'm going to give it an offset along the XYZ plane. And prior to invoking any copy command or move command, first of all, take into account the location and the orientation of your XYZ plane. So in this particular case, it favors our 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 condition now i'm going to y-axis here so under y-axis i'm going to feed in five meters because we need uh, a 10 by 12 uh, still uh, still canvas frame now i'm going to prefix my dimension with a negative sign here so i'll type a negative sign there though so I'm, i'll go ahead and click copy right there then uh, close that so if i zoom out i'll be able to see a point on this location so I'll, I can go ahead and copy this all the way by 10, by 10 meters, or I can just go to the same same spot and give it an offset of 5 meters. So since this is still active with copy command, I'm going to just right click on this, then come to special copy and pick on linear. So under linear on uh, X uh, or on Y axis, it will be positive. So I'm going to pre uh, just type 10 meters and without uh, prefixing it with any uh, signs either negative or positive. So in this particular case, since it, it, we are moving along the positive direction of y-axis, I don't need to uh, prefix it with a negative sign there. So I'm going to click uh, copy. So if I close that and zoom out, I'll be able to see my point on the other end. So we want to copy this point because as it as it is, it is at zero zero level. So let me just press Alt once again. And if I turn this round like this, you'll be able to see our points are at absolute zero level. Now, I want to give it an offset upward by 6 meter. The 6 meter provides a ground clearance where, whereby a, a, a car or a vehicle can pass without interfering with the, with, the, with the steel frame. Now, I'm going to press Control and select on that. Then right click and come to special copy and I'm going to copy it upward by six meter. So I'm going to use the Z axis here, but we have to reset everything to absolute zero coordinate. So I'll come to Z axis here, then just type six meter. Then I'll go ahead and click a copy. So the moment I click on copy, I'll have my points in place. So the ones at the bottom end here becomes absolutely useless so we can go ahead and delete them so will be the one on top here will be much useful to us so so we want to copy them upward by 12 meters high now i'm going to right click once again and come to special uh, special copy and pick on linear then come to z axis here and i'll type uh, 12 meters high then go ahead and, and click on that button copy then the points the, the two points will be copied upward here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow these points to create my frame. And prior to that, and uh, which you have to take into, into account, we have to undo everything here so that we go back to our uh, uh, initial points. Now, now, our frame or our canvas frame will be tilted at an angle at an angle like this, so that uh, if if installed on a junction, it will, it will be it will be able to serve a huge viewership. Now we want to tilt these these uh, points. So from here, I'm I'm going to give it an offset of 200. Right, I'll right click and come to special copy here. Then uh, I'll take into account the location of my XYZ plane. So in this particular case, I want to copy it along the X axis. So I'll reset everything and go to X axis and I'll prefix this dimension with the 200. 
200 millimeter and go ahead and click okay so the moment i click okay you will be able to see a point here and the same thing i'm going to copy it on the other end but i'll get rid of this negative sign and click a copy once again and we'll have that point on the other end but it has been copied on the same same point because the distance is the same so i have to change this to 400 because uh, i need that 400 on the other end so that is it but it seems slightly all the way a little bit uh, long so I'm, I'm going to uh, get get rid of that so instead of doing that i'll right click and come to special copy once again and uh, i'll just pick copy and i want to copy it from that spot to that spot let me just mouse over that spot and place it right there so i have the two points here so the points i wanted it's just this distance this distance so this is 200 i mean approximately 400 there so let me just uh, snap on that spot and snap on this spot here and we can confirm that that is 400 millimeter so that's exactly what we wanted so what i'm going to do here i'm going also to offset this po this point this way on my on the on the negative direction of x so i'm going to select on this so I'm going to go to special copy and pick on linear. Then now I'll go on the X axis here, reset that, and come here and just feed a meter, and go ahead and click copy. But prior to that, check uh, check the direction of X of X axis. So I'll have to prefix that with a negative sign. Then go ahead and click copy. So then once I click on copy, I'll now work with these points here. I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of that and get rid of the initial one and uh, so if i turn it around you'll be able to see it's they're not in, the, in a straight line it's kind of uh, at an angle so this is the the tilt that we need for our canvas steel frame so what i'm going to do i'm going to now copy this upward by by six meter as we did pre previously so i'm going to select on that and I'm going to move it up, special move, and I'm going to move it up by six meters. So let me just give it some time to, to let it come. The dialog box of move distance by distance comes up. So I'm going to type in here six meter. Then uh, I'll pick it up from, from the upper position. So the, the distance beneath this, this is just the ground clearing so that it, it, the billboard does not interfere with any passage or the or passage of any vehicle or, or any uh, uh, moving uh object or anything so uh, let me just right click once again and come to special copy here once again and come to 12 meters along the z axis then i'll just type 12 meters right there and click ok i'll close and if i come here i'll be able to now for create my frame i'll come to steel then come to steel beam then i'll just go straight and start placement of my steel I just start placement of my steel then uh, if i zoom on that spot and i uh, give it some time if i zoom out i'll be able to see i have my steel frame in place so if i turn it like that i'll be able to have my steel frame in place so another thing we have we, we have is uh, this is tilted at an angle so we have to take into account the orientation of that particular angle so let me then on the next presentation and i'll show you how we can uh, complete the comp uh, we can come up with a complete uh, uh, frame of our canvas so let's be then bye bye